Hello folks, uh, welcome back to another edition of BC Renovation Magazine. So today we are working on this uh, beam up here. Uh, we actually have two beams in this home. We've got one in the living room here, and then we've got another one over there in the kitchen. And so uh, what I'm doing is uh, covering this beam with, with some wood. And uh, this one here, this is finished in this room. And so you can just kind of see what we've uh, got going on here. And so this this wood that I've used uh, to cover the beam is, uh, well, some people call it barn wood. Uh, the proper term for it is uh, reclaimed wood. And so, you know, barn wood or reclaimed wood is, is wood, you know, that, uh, you know, is taken from old barns or old buildings or, you know, uh, something like that. And it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's usually it's a weathered wood. And uh, in this case, uh, this wood came from uh, a fence that was uh, in, the, in the back of the property here. And uh, if you uh, have been following along and watching some of our videos, uh, you uh, re will remember that old fence. And uh, last fall, um, I tore that fence down and I salvaged the fence boards and I, uh, Mentioned back then, you know, that I would be, uh, you know, doing something with those boards and that I would put them, uh, you know, probably on this beam. And so here we are. Uh, uh, that's what I'm doing today. So these are the, these are the boards that were back there. So it's basically, uh, you know, a one by four board. Uh, and they're about four feet tall, something like that. And so, you know, these were on the fence, like I say, and so they're, uh, you know, quite weathered. And so you can see how they're they're dirty, and uh, you know this fence was never stained by the looks of it, and uh, you know it just uh, was just kind of left left the weather. And so this is how they they looked when I took that fence down, and you can just you know just see them. What did it looks like here? And so this you know was a little bit uh, too weathered for me. Uh, I wanted to clean them up a little bit and make them look a little bit nicer. And so. What I did was, you know, using my uh, orbital sander, which is this machine right here, I, I sanded the boards. And so this is what the board looks like sanded after it's sanded with that uh, orbital sander. Now we're, we're not looking to sand this down to clean wood. I mean, you can see how there's still some of the gray weather there, but we get a, a, a nice variation of, uh, you know, of uh, color tones between the grays and the browns. So we end up sort of with a, a, a warm gray. And, uh, you know, then what I did was to, uh, I, you know, I cut, ran through the table saw to get a clean edge. Uh, where, you know, up there I joined in the, in the center, that's, you know, two boards uh, side by side. And then uh, for the drops, uh, this, which is what this board is, this is a, a drop here. So I left the one edge, uh, you know, uh, rough, and then I cut the other edge. But uh, when you have, when you're fitting two boards together, you want two clean edges so that it fits together kind of nice. Now that being said, uh, you know, the, the look that we're going for here is, you know, kind of a rustic look. And so, you know, we don't, we don't want a, you know, a polished, fine look. And, you know, so it's, uh, we didn't want to clean them up too much. So that's those fence boards, just sanded. Okay, and you can kind of see how we fit them together. Uh, you know, it's just kind of a random pattern there. We didn't try to make it look, uh, you know, uh, consistent or anything. We just, you know, just uh, basically just saw them, nail them up there. And we just used, uh, just used my pinner here, which is this orange thing, orange thing. This has got, I'm just using a two inch 18 gauge uh, nail in there, a pin actually, it's not a nail. And so uh, over here in the kitchen, I'll just show you where, uh, this was, this was in progress. So the old beam that was up there was just covered with some, you know, plywood paneling. It was just very, you know, very cheap, very typical mobile home and just not, you know, it wasn't nice at all. And uh, there you can see it's white, but originally it was like a bleached oak color, the paneling. And uh, when I painted the ceilings, you know, I just painted that beam. So here I'm, you can see where I'm applying these boards to that. And so, you know, just going over top, just fitting them over and just, you know, just piecing it together here. This 
So, you know, that's this is a really good job for a do-it-yourselfer. You know, this is not uh, fine carpentry that we're doing with this. Uh, you know, this is just, you know, kind of, well, not really throwing it together, but but kind of throwing it together. And, you know, this is, uh, uh, you know, so you end up with something that looks like that. So part of my uh, little thing when I uh, do these homes is... Uh, I have this crazy little thing where I like to uh, keep something old from the old place and put it, you know, into the new place. And uh, uh, I have a, another video where I did another home, and we uh, there was a little bracket that I salvaged and uh, turned it into an address uh, sign, and that was, you know, something old from the old place that ended up in the new place. And uh, so that's, uh, you know, this is my. Uh, my uh, take on it at this home is the old fence that was in the back is now in a place of prominence here. It's actually in the living room and in the kitchen. And uh, you know, it's a little bit of the old with, with, the, with the new, something old and something new. All right, folks, so that's how you cover a beam with barnwood. And uh, you know, it takes it from what looked like a really cheap beam before to now it looks like an old, rough, uh, hewn, solid looking beam. All right, so uh, I'll give you a little look at it. This uh, once I get it completely finished and uh, stay tuned. Okay, folks, uh, there we go. That's the finished beam. That uh, just shows you how it all, uh, all came together here. So this is the beam in the kitchen. You see how we just kind of tucked it past the bulkhead there. And, uh, you know, those boards are just randomly cut. You know, there's nothing uh, precise about any of this. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, you can overthink these little jobs. And, uh, you know, it's sometimes it's better just to kind of just wing it and just go so you know we didn't measure anything we didn't make it the same we just you know whatever the piece was we just made it fit in there all right so you can see how this how this looks here so there's no finish there's no finish on that wood now you could put a finish on it if you wanted uh, we decided not to uh, you know, this is just the old barn wood finish, you know, that's been uh, lightly sanded. And, you know, you can buy what I call fake barn wood at the uh, building centers, but, you know, it, it's, it's not, it, it doesn't look like this old stuff. And it's quite expensive, uh, you know, to buy the barn wood to do this, uh, to do this uh, beam in here, you know, it would have been a couple hundred bucks worth of materials if you'd have bought the fake stuff. And, uh, you know, we... We did this for free. We didn't. Uh, we just saved those old fence boards and just just reused them. So uh, you could put a clear finish on this if you wanted to. Um, it would make it more, uh, you know, more it would make it look wet. So it would give it uh, it would be more uh, intense. And we didn't, you know, we didn't want that. Uh, we we tried that. We had a look at it, and it was a bit too, like too much. It was kind of overpowering uh, to put the clear on. And we did a little test and we didn't we didn't care for that uh, you know you might like that um, you know another thing you could do is you could put a bit of a stain on here if you want to sort of even it out but you know it's pretty hard to beat uh, you know 25 or 30 years of uh, weathered weathered finish and you know that's that's what that is that old fence was in the back there for about 20 25 years 20 25 I don't, I don't know for sure but it was there for a long time and, you know, it's got little wormholes in it and bug holes and, uh, you know, places where it uh, kind of rotted. So the only thing that I did do to it was uh, after I sanded it, I uh, took uh, and just uh, just washed it, basically washed it. And I just had a pail of water in here. You can see the dirty water, uh, you know, that's in here. And I, all I did was I just, you know, uh, dipped my brush and just, uh, you know, just just went on it with uh, the brush and so here I'll just kind of show you what I did so after it was sanded you know I just dipped and then just went like this okay and just kind of washed it and not you know I didn't get it too wet 
but you know just a just a kind of a thing like this and so there here you can see uh, the difference if you wanted to you know if you wanted to go to a uh, like a, an oil finish or a uh, you know some kind of a varnish that, that would be the difference so that's what it would look like you know if it was a, a clear finish on it and it was just kind of too uh, orangey yellowy for us we uh, so we decided to stick with the uh, kind of the more of the grayish look you know if you don't put the finish on it uh, goes for more of a, a gray look you don't have to put a finish on it you know like I say this was outside for you know 25 years and uh, you know the uh, it didn't suffer too much it's you know it looks great so that's it folks that's how you make a barn wood beam in your home very simple if you can find some old uh, wood to just you know just uh, salvage it and and uh, put a little bit of work into it you know this was uh, all together this little job was about uh, I don't know four or five hours to do the whole thing and uh, you know you don't need a lot of tools um, you know I've, I've got the tools I've got this the sander you could hand sand it if you wanted to you know it's just a little bit more elbow grease uh, you can nail it with finishing nails with a hammer uh, you know I use my miter saw here uh, you can just use a like a miter box and a, and a little hand sand a hand saw um, you know you can uh, you can just you know it's it's just easy to do this kind of stuff uh, as a DIYer and uh, you know this is a, a really nice uh, decorator touch uh, you know this is something that has adds a lot of value to the to the home and to the project and uh, you know easy to do adds a lot of value these are the kinds of things that you, you want to do to uh, you know get the best bang for your buck all right folks thanks for watching bye bye